King Jesus will roll my burdens away if to him I pray. He'll open doors for me, doors I'm unable to see. And if I pray, King Jesus will roll my burdens away. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 45, we've gotten there, and this is about the king's marriage. And this king that is being talked about in Psalm 45, it is very much a prophecy of the Messiah, Prince Jesus. And it's about a marriage, so a marriage to a bride. We know that in this new covenant, we are the bride. Those of us that have given our heart to the Lord, we are in love with him, and we are readying ourselves for a marriage to the King of Kings. Praise God. So that is what this is about. It is to the chief musician of Shoshanim for the sons of Korah, Maskell, a song of loves. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made, touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. So my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. This is um, the Lord prophesying through him. And today, we have many people that hear the voice of the Lord, write his words down, and share with us. It is a very prophetic time in these end times. I heard a prophetic word several years ago that the Lord was dropping golden pens down from heaven for ready writers, and uh, he would send the words they wrote into the current. He needed them to go to get to the people that needed to hear. It's very beautiful, and I have seen this happening. So many people hearing words from the Lord. Verse 2, Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God hath blessed thee forever. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee. So for those that have rejected Jesus Christ, there will be a terrible price that will be paid. And those of us that have received him, we need to make sure we tr have true love in our hearts for the Lord. And we are walking close with him. We are not compromised with the worldly system. Verse 6, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore God thy God hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. All thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, and incline thine ear. Forget also thine own people and thy father's house. So many of us that have turned to Jesus, we've got our whole heart turned to him, and uh, nothing comes before our relationship with him. Verse 11, So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is thy Lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto thee. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of thy father shall be thy children, whom thou mayest make princes in all the earth. 
I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. Well, King Jesus, we do praise you forever and ever. Almighty God, we love and worship and give you the highest honor. Praise, glory, and honor to your holy name. Your name shall be exalted in every nation. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess to the glory of the Father that Jesus Christ is Lord. There's only one way to heaven. The only door to heaven is Jesus Christ. You must believe that he is the Son of God, that he died, and that he was resurrected, and that he is at the right hand of the Father in heaven, and he is preparing to come get his bride. When the Father gives the word, we will be with the Lord, and forever we will be with him. Praise God. Stand strong in dark days, terrible times. The Lord is fulfilling his word, and uh, our hope is in him, and we don't want to fail him. So remain faithful, be steadfast, be strong, and of good courage. And I pray that and ask the Lord to give me those things that I need. When I am weak, he is strong. Jesus has told us, without me, you can do nothing. So... The smart, wise people of the world today are the ones that trust in Jesus and have made him Lord of their life. They hear his voice, and another they will not follow. And he has promised to abide with us as we abide with him. Well, I love the Lord. I pray for the souls in the world. It's not God's will that any person perish but we are given free will to choose. We can choose to believe in Jesus and serve God, or we cannot. There is a heavy eternal outcome when we do not make the choice for Jesus. Go by Acts 2.38 if you need to give your heart to the Lord. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.